Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is part two of the closet clean out situation. So if you're wondering why we are standing in this really awkward setting, it's because I have two massive cabinets filled with shoes and purses. I mean, I can do the reveal right now if you guys wanna see, but if you guys are excited for that, uh, make sure you subscribe before you get into the video. But uh, without further ado, let's get into it. For a low-key life update, I got these gorgeous freaking nails and they're like little clouds. Where do I start? Knee-high boots um, that I'm definitely gonna keep. This major Ugg collection. I've got this one, really cute with a black bow, and then I've got this little beigey one. I'm keeping both of these. I'm already like, I need to keep these, but like, do I? It's just that they're so unique. Like, I love how they have this Juicy Couture little bow on the back. Let's just uh, pretend you never saw these and keep them. So these are my first Doc Martens. And honestly, I literally never wear them. Are they even my style? Like, <laughs> ow. The other thing is these literally will like cut into your feet and I haven't been able to like kind of stretch them out. If you guys know like what doc Dr. Martens are like, I'll keep them in here for now, but I promise I'm gonna look at them later and uh, make sure that uh, I wanna keep them. So <laughs> anyways, I'm just, I don't feel like they're my style anymore, even though they're cute and all. So these are the first ones that are gonna go. So these ones I just recently bought at TJ Maxx. I think I'm gonna keep them just because they're like an easy kind of like nudie shoe. <laughs> nudie, oh God. <laughs> like beige shoe to be able to wear out. Honestly, like this round toe isn't even really in anymore. And this one's like super round. So it's giving like Kylie Jenner 2014 vibes. You know what I mean? Where it's like grungy kind of vibes. Anyways, I have these gorgeous Timberlands. I know these are really similar to the other combat boots I showed, but the, these are more of a heel. It has like this fur inside and it's suede. So these are like really, really nice. These are interesting. I don't even know how they made it this far. I just thought they were kind of sickening, like sock boots. Sock boots were so freaking in and I thought I was the absolute like that girl. I'm gonna donate these. These you guys know I recently bought. If you've seen my what I got for Christmas. Well, I guess I didn't buy them. My mom bought them for me. I don't know if you guys have that thing where like sometimes you'd be smelling shoes and they smell good like when they're new. I just revealed too much about myself. But yeah, I'm gonna keep these. I have these Ugg little Christmas vibes um, that were like limited edition or something. And I'm definitely not getting rid of these. Like I barely even got any wear out of them. Pink ones, I just feel like they're so cute. They are starting to look a little bit old, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna keep No, this is not cute. Like, mm-mm. This is giving very like, <laughs> remember back in the day in like middle school or whatever like people would wear these and like their ankle would be like bent and it would look horrible that's what this is giving to me so these were the first ugg boots i ever ever had my mom got these for me like way way back when and this was a major major purchase you guys like this did not come easy to my household so i was holding on to these accepting them for so long but i don't want to hoard things you know and i feel like i do hoard things like when they mean a lot to me so i feel like somebody could pick these up i'm keeping these i'm upset love them. I think I should get rid of these just because I feel like these were fulfilling my combat boot needs before. These I recently got, these like Dolce Vita kind of mule situations. Um, I actually got them like last minute in San Diego when I was there visiting my mom and I needed a pair to go with my outfit. So, but they're really comfortable and I like them a lot. These are my OG Crocs. Like these are so disgusting now. Yeah, I feel like I'll take the gibbets off. Then I think I'm gonna get rid of these. Ted Baker sneakers. On the back, there's like a silver and a rose gold bows on it. Yeah, and ruffles. If you need to wear like a fancy white shoe, I wear these, so yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna die, oh my God. There's dust flying everywhere because I don't touch half of these shoes. These ones you guys are gonna laugh at me for, but I call these like, <laughs> do I even say this? I call these like my toddler shoes because they remind me of like when I was a little kid and I swear I used to have shoes exactly like this. So it's just like good memories, you know? Um, but these are the Love Shack Fancy Times Superga little guys. But yeah, I kind of like these to wear in the summer. I know like you guys are gonna think they're ugly and disgusting, but Welcome to my shoe collection. <laughs> my standard pair of Birkenstocks. I always have a pair of these and they have like this really cute rose gold buckles. Um, so I'm gonna keep these. It's giving very like beach, which I'm not very beach. So yeah, these are kind of like a matching pair to my mom's um, cause she got the same in like a beige and they're from the brand Halogen. 
as you can see i got amazing wear out of these when i lived in new york because it's just like the vibe you know what i mean like orange wait why do i kind of like them still do i get rid of these guys <laughs> putting them on they're so cute Okay, I'm keeping them. I was literally gonna make a whole spiel about how I'm gonna donate them, but I'm keeping them, so it's fine. <laughs> Every summer, I refuse to get rid of because I thought they were like the freaking vibe when I first got them. Like, they're cute, you know? I feel like they're cute, but the thing is, like, I'm not really gonna wear them anymore, I don't think. Goodbye. These are from Dolce Vita. I feel like these are still the vibe, even though they literally like cut holes in uh, my feet and give me like the worst blisters ever. But I feel like they just need to be stretched out and like used more often because I barely use these because they hurt so bad. These Hello Kitty Converse, even though I don't really wear Converse anymore, I'm never getting rid of because when I do, it's gonna be these. I feel like I should get rid of these, but I feel like they just need to be cleaned, you know? So these were like the Fenty um, Pumas. Oh, Creepers, Creepers. So these are the Fenty Creepers. I remember I worked at Urban Outfitters and I literally got the last pair on sale. Um, and they were amazing. Like these were like my life for a long time. And I just feel like I would still wear them a lot if they were cleaner and like, I just haven't gone through the whole thing of like wanting to clean them because they're a little bit like yellowish now, which is like nasty. I don't really think I'm gonna get rid of them yet. Like I wanna restore them back to their glory, you know? What are these called? Air Force Ones. I kinda wanted to get something a little bit different than just the plain white that most people have. Ew, that makes me sound like a pick me. <laughs> but like, genuinely that was the reason why I got these. I just really liked like the cool abstract designs. These are my buffaloes. These were the only buffaloes that I bought and I'm kind of obsessed with their brand and I feel like I would buy more if I literally didn't have so many shoes. Um, but these are kind of like my standard like massive chunky 80s dad sort of shoe. <sighs> I thought these were gonna be a moment when I was going through my like, like Instagram phase, uh, but hopefully someone will love them. Um, so I did get these like really cute blue little floral. Are these a Stan Smiths, Adidas Stan Smiths? The one that like literally everybody had. I feel like less people have these now, but I'm gonna still keep them. Like again, I feel like they just need a good clean. Oh, also how cute is the rose gold on them? Like what? Okay, I'm not even gonna show you guys these shoes because they're like literally disgusting because these are my workout shoes but i bought new ones that i will show you after but okay that's all you get it's giving aquamarine and they're like kind of like that 3d printed knit style so yeah these are my actual actual shoes that are for exercise not that i exercise ever but yeah you know just casually thrown in here my louboutins yes i have louboutins um did i talk about this in my valentine's day I don't know, but my boyfriend got these for me uh, like two birthdays ago and I when I tell you when I saw these I freaking screamed like basically the story was like I had always told him like I've always wanted a pair of Louboutins but like you just say that to your boyfriend, you know, like you don't expect them to like buy them like straight away but um, really sweetly he wanted to impress me and it was like one of the first two years I think we were dating and so he just wanted to see my reaction because he had like a really good job over the summer, I guess, and like saved up for these. I'm literally gonna cry. <laughs> oh my God. The moral of the story is I do have Louboutins and I love them and appreciate them very much despite what it looked like, but I had just gotten back from Valentine's Day. So that's why they were kind of just hanging. So I think I'm gonna start making a pile in front. So if you see me go down here, it's cause I'm keeping it. If you see me go over here, it's because I'm getting rid of. Uh, but this is my Valentine's Day slash anniversary purse and I'm obsessed with it, so keeping. I'm obsessed with these Betsy Johnson ones for the holidays. Like how cute is that? I just had to pause to say that. And the bottoms of these have little hearts as heels. So when I saw these, it was over for me. I feel like I've yet to post in these, even though I've worn them like twice. I just feel like, I always feel like a lot whenever I wear them, but these are the, like the wolf shoes and for a while during the summer i was being advertised for them left and right and i originally bought them like for my birthday to kind of wear but i ended up wearing something else which i will show you that my best friend got me early 2000s 90s vibe like platform heel sandal thing see these jeffrey campbell's were my favorite for a while but i think they have to go like i was literally like these are barbie's shoes they're so nasty now and honestly they hurt my feet 
so yeah bye so this is like a long champ bag that i kind of wore sometimes when i thought i was like going through an insta phase and while i think it's cute i just don't think it's very me is it i literally used it for the movies once <laughs> to put all my snacks in but that's gotta go so this is my little celine bag she's so cute my boyfriend got it for me from the real real so it is obviously a repurchase um but yeah Okay, so these are the shoes I ended up wearing for my birthday. Yeah, that my friend got me. Obviously, they're all messed up, but like the butterflies kind of go up your legs. So it's so, so cute. If you guys want to see what that looks like, you can go to my Instagram. These are my Jimmy Choo's. I bought this for my graduation, which literally never happened. So I still haven't really worn them out. One of the things I really love is this detailing that says Jimmy Choo and like the stitching. So it's very like cute, but like, you know, it's not too flashy kind of thing, which I appreciate. And it says Jimmy Choo on the little gold part right there as well. won this from a doll's kill thing i know i guess i showed you guys my beanie from last time but i won this from a doll's kill giveaway i don't know what i was thinking when i bought this i thought i could have a moment but i haven't even worn it yet so this is gone why do i have two of the same backpack you may be wondering uh my boyfriend got me this one and forgot that i had the mini version for last christmas but you know what i really liked this one so it's good to have a bigger option i'm low-key like do i get rid of the mini one now because the mini one doesn't really fit anything but, like the mini one is cuter i might just keep both i got this purse for literally like five dollars at goodwill and it's a dooney and burke bag but i've yet to find somebody who can fix this because it does have some flaws here but like how cute is this ew why is it giving suburban mom Oh God. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for that. two items that were in there i've got my giant michael kors backpack that i was using as an actual backpack for so long and then this disney one that's like pinky like vibes so i didn't really get rid of as much purses as i wanted to so i don't really know how this is gonna fit now so i think i'll just fast forward and then show you guys the results <laughs> As you can see, this is a lot better. I know you're gonna think this is crazy, but let's just listen to my thinking. So on the bottom, we've got my white shoes that are just like everyday sort of vibes, kind of like sandals sort of things. And then like obviously my fancy white shoe. And then in here, I decided to put the cute little bear because I thought it looked cute. But this is basically like the Uggs boots section. And I have some Uggs sneaking behind this little guy too. Here is like, I wear all black kind of vibes. Um, I just thought it looked super aesthetically pleasing. And as you can see, I decided to put my two black bags and then my little fanny packs in the corner. Um, just cause, you know, I had space for another shoe, but I really don't wear black that much. So for now it's gonna stay like this. And then this center section, this is where I really show off like all of my cute stuff. That's like designer, whatever, whatever. Um, so as you can see, I've got all my platforms and my cute little little shoes out and there's actually a space back there where I can put another purse but right now I just have my Celine back there and then so here's this section I know it does look a little bit crazy 
and like you guys are gonna be mad at me because you're gonna be like you're gonna like fold all of your purses or whatever whatever here's the thing so i think what i need to do is actually get like little boxes unfortunately like or like little like plastic sliders because in the back i have all of my backpacks which i don't really use as often and then towards the front is like all of these which i use like every day so like trust me when i say i'm gonna be like bringing them out and stuff so yeah it's just gonna work for now but if you guys have any ideas like feel free to go ahead and plus decluttering is gonna help a lot here is my little closet clean and uh yeah i hope you guys have a cute ass day and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like it if uh you found my mess entertaining again <laughs> oh yeah comment down below what your favorite shoe was or favorite purse um and if you feel like you're gonna do something like this anytime soon let your girl know so i can get motivated to do even more um but yeah bye